Hey guys, welcome back. I have not uploaded on this channel in, I don't know if it's been two years or like a year and a half, I've just been gone. And the reason being is because I just, it took up so much time editing. I think it was the pressure of trying to come up with content every week and then having to edit it and get it up in time and it just took a lot out of me. So I just kind of took a break and just focused on my fashion blog with quarantine and everything that's been going on. I missed it, I really did. And one of the things that has been keeping me company throughout this whole entire situation these past couple of months has been YouTube. The main reason being because I feel as if I walk away after watching a video having spent time with a friend. And that's so great, it's a nice feeling. So YouTube has been keeping me company i have a new puppy i've been busy but i missed youtube and i wanted to come back and i can't guarantee uploads every single week but i'm hoping to do it a couple times a month i have an idea ready for my next video but i definitely definitely encourage you guys to request things comment down below anything you want to see and then hopefully i can get them up not every week every week and a half or so i missed you guys so i hope you're doing well i know this quarantine situation has been crazy i don't leave my house except for groceries or to see my mom that lives 10 minutes away if it's not a family member i'm not visiting I'm not vacationing. I'm not doing anything like that. So I only really go out once a week to get groceries. I wear a mask. I have hand sanitizer. I wash my hands when I come home and I change my clothes because I've always been this way. I'm a germaphobic anyway. So I feel like it's kind of been a help that I've been like that all my life because it's made adjusting to this a lot easier. So I hope you guys are doing well. And actually, why don't you guys comment down below some of your favorite snacks that you've been having during quarantine because I'm always looking for fun little treats. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing I've been loving is actually my hair. I have very thick, very coarse, well not coarse, but it's just very thick and heavy hair. And I feel like when I blow dry it and flat iron it, I spend so much time doing that and I end up with not the most perfect pin straight hair due to humidity and summer. It looks better in the winter, I can get away with blow drying and flat ironing it and it'll stay for a few days really nice and straight. But in summer, there's just no point with my type of hair to fight that humidity, to fight that summer weather. So I've been waving my hair and making it look like just beachy mermaid waves in my hair. And I really like it because instead of fighting my hair, it wants to wave. I'm kind of like just working with it. And what I've been using to do that, it's the Bedhead by Tiggy Wave Artist. And I couldn't find this color online anymore because I bought this a few months ago, but they do have it in purple and it does the exact same thing. So I'll definitely link this below for you guys. I'll link everything that I'm mentioning below for you guys, of course, but it's awesome. If you're looking for easy waves without having to curl your hair because I suck at hair anything, this is your best friend because it's so easy. You literally just put your hair in here, clamp it down for a couple of seconds and you have these glorious, fun effortless waves and it's just so good for summer it's like the perfect hair that looks like you did something to it without really having to do anything i love it i love it i love it my next favorite is something that i can't believe is actually still available online i thought this was limited edition and i recently pulled it out of my eyeshadow drawer i just wanted to play with it again number one this smells like my childhood. It literally smells like the scratch and sniff stickers I used to collect with my cousin. And when you got the peach one, it was like the most important one you needed for your collection. It smells just like that. It smells so good. These are the most creamiest yet most intense eyeshadows I've ever used. You've got a nice spectrum of naturals and neutrals. Then you have those fun pops of peach and you still have darker colors to kind of anchor your look for the outer corner or the lower lash line. Love, love this palette still. And it's the, uh, I forgot to say, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Oh, love it. So my next favorite actually saved it in the box because I don't know why I never tend to throw boxes away and I can kind of spot it better in my little makeup drawer. So this is the Pixie by Petra Lip Lift Max Glossy Lip Plumper. This one is in the shade Petal Ice. So it's basically like a clear gloss, but it has this microscopic glitter and shimmer to it that makes your lips look so kissable, so pouty, so glossy, so wet, so gorgeous. And it's the kind of lip color I feel like the Victoria's Secret Angels would wear on the runway to catch the light and just make them look even more gorgeous and glorious than they already do. And it's affordable. You can find this at Target, at Ulta. I love the Pixie brand so much. They have the greatest skincare. I love their moisturizers. I love their makeup. I'm just always impressed with everything that they come out with. And this in particular is the gloss I've been reaching for also. And then speaking of lip products, this other favorite is something I purchased, I think in the winter time, but I've been using it now as well because sometimes my lips get dry in the summer, which is weird because usually my lips get dry in the winter, but sometimes in the summer, like here in North Carolina, the weather can kind of change. So this has been a savior basically this is the costa sport um, baseline hyaluronic lip balm and this is just in the original clear there's no there's no color to it or anything like that it has a light kind of pepperminty scent i like that though because it's very refreshing on the lips and 
I put this on before bed and I wake up with non-chapped dry lips. It's amazing. I highly recommend this for a man or woman. If you have a boyfriend or husband that gets dry lips, pick this up for him. You will not be disappointed. Let's talk about some hair products now. So I've really been into dry shampoos lately for my hair because they add texture to the scalp after you wave it. And when you wake up, or if you want second day, third day hair, you don't have to wash it. So my favorite so far for just regular dry shampoo is the Batiste, which I've talked about Batiste before on my channel. I love this in every shape, form, color, scent that they have. But this one is newer and it's the Pretty and Delicate Rose Gold. Don't let the name throw you. You don't get gold in your hair. But it smells so good. It smells like a perfume that I want to buy up and keep forever. It just smells so scrumptious. I don't really smell the rose so much as I smell like a warm, like, I don't know, like a dessert kind of vanilla-y scent, but it's a very warm scent. It's clean, it's sugary, but it's not too sweet. It's just so delicious. I want to eat it. <laughs> it just smells so good and it makes my hair feel really nice. And again, it's the Rose Gold from Baptiste. And then the second one is actually from a brand I've never tried dry shampoos from before. This is the Not Your Mother's line, which I remember seeing it all the time when I used to work at Ulta. This is specifically their Beach Babe dry shampoo in the scent of toasted coconut. Oh my God, if you like coconut or beach scented things, this smells incredible. And I like how their spray is very fluid. Like it's very smooth and it doesn't give residue to your hair. If there's a little white in your hair, it's very subtle versus the Batiste ones have a little more residue, but they're both easy to just comb through your hair and it comes out really easily. Or you can blow dry it a little bit and that helps set the powder as well. But this one is great because it's a texturizing one. So you can actually add it to the waves in your hair and it'll add more hold and it'll add just like more of that beachy kind of texture, which I really like. And the scent is to die for. So these two have been my summer favorites so far. And the next product is actually a scent, so we're going with that whole pinky rose theme. And this is the Rose Water and Ivy Fine Fragrance Mist. Kid you not, the bottle I purchased last summer lasted me 10 months. And I have used this scent for everything. From when I just come out of the shower, spray the nape of my neck. When I was getting dressed to go out, spray behind my ears, spray at my wrist, spray it myself after I've been outside in the yard for a little while. Like I used it for everything, even spraying the room if I felt like the room needed a little bit of a scent. But this was the first time I went through an entire bottle from Bath & Body Works because the scent is that good and it took me 10 months. So if you wanna gauge how long one of these lasts, roughly half a year to 10 months because I used it for everything, I kid you not. If there is a reason to use perfume, I used it for it. And it lasted that long, so that's pretty impressive. Thought I'd throw that out there. So another thing that I've been loving is really random, but it's really fun, are plastic utensils that are BPA free and also dishwasher safe. And they're from Ikea. I found them through Amazon. They're really affordable for like a bunch of them. And you get the full set spoon, fork, knife, in fun, fun colors, and I'll insert a little video clip right now. So as you can see, you get a nice mixture of colors and they're just so aesthetically pleasing. They're great for people that don't like to scrape, you know, a utensil against their teeth when they're eating or you just have a lot of guests over and you don't feel like washing a whole bunch of silverware. Perfect for summer. Stored them in these little cubby holes that I got from the container store and I love them. The next favorite's a book, and this book is The Astrology of You and Me. How to understand and improve every relationship in your life from friendships to romantic relationships, to work relationships. It has everything about every sign in this book, not to mention the aesthetic of the colors. I just wanted it as a coffee table book. So, so cute, great affordable book. And if you're into astrology, into the signs, you'll really like this book. All right, so I guess we'll finish off the video. Last thing I have to mention is some fashion items. And the first one is bucket hats. I've been wearing them nonstop on my blog, wearing them nonstop this summer, and I have them in three different shades because I love them that much. So the first one I got is a white one. I just thought it's so cute for summer because it gives you that beach kind of fresh, clean vibe. And then of course I had to have a black one because black goes with everything. You can transition into fall and winter with it if you wanted to. And then the piece de resistance, which is a bucket hat in denim, which I also had to have. So that's my little bucket hat collection. I've been loving them. They're great for oily scalp hair days, bad hair days. Just throw it on, shield your face from the sun, and you're good to go. They look cute with dresses, jeans, anything. Yeah, I just, I've been loving bucket hats. So the last fashion favorite is tie-dye. Oh my God, I've just been into tie-dye so much. So this top is from, I think it's Daydreamer LA or Desert Dreamer LA. I'll link it below for sure, but it's a shirt that has Blondie on it, which is so iconic. I love her music. And it's a cotton candy pink baby blue shirt. It's comfy, it's oversized. I got it in small and it's still baggy on me, which is great with leggings or shorts. Just been loving that. 
Then the second top is a long sleeve, super soft, a very thin fleece that's from JCPenney. I got it in the pink color, the purpley pink color, because I feel like that's just so me. And it's a great transitioning piece from like winter into spring into summer. You can still wear it if you're having a chilly morning or if you're just colder in the house. And it's very soft and it has that oversized fit. I actually got it in large because medium was sold out and I wanted that baggy fit anyway. So yeah, I love this one. And then this last one is from Urban Outfitters. It's basically a try tie dye sweatshirt it has a lot of different colors on it i really was drawn to the pink and the teal and it looks crinkly almost as if lightning struck it i really like the crackly effect of the tie-dye it's a very comfy very oversized gorgeously soft sweater now these next three tie-dyed items are actually things that i did myself they're actually called reverse tie-dyeing which is bleach dyeing where you mix a little bit of bleach with water and then get it on your clothing and soak it for maybe eight to ten minutes and then throw it in the wash so the first shirt is actually from Target. I think I got this last year and it was just a basic teal colored t-shirt baggy from the men's department. But I thought if I threw some bleach on it, it might look cool. Wow, I was so impressed with how it actually came out. It looks like there's clouds on it because the bleach turned it white. So it literally looks like there's clouds on the shirt now and Aladdin, Jasmine and the genie are on a magic carpet ride. So it kind of makes sense. I really love how that came out. And then the second shirt came in the mail three months after I ordered it online from one of those stupid Instagram ads that fooled me and I thought I wasn't even going to receive it. Then it comes. It's not even the same color as it looked online. The material felt cheap. I was going to donate it to the thrift store. But then I thought, you know what, let's just bleach dye this shirt since I'm already doing this project. It ended up coming out a lot cooler than I thought. So now I actually love this shirt and yeah, I'm happy with it. So I'll be keeping it. And the last thing I decided to bleach dye is this oversized sweatshirt that I actually got from Walmart from the men's department in a cranberry shade because I love that color for fall. And I may not wear it right now, like I said, because it's so hot, but I have been wearing it in the transitioning weather in the mornings when it's kind of chilly here. And it's so cute. I love it. And now that brings us to the last, last, last fashion item, which is little legging shorts. I wear leggings pretty much 99% of the time. I love jeans, but if I can wear leggings instead, I will 100% wear them. But once summer hits, you can't wear leggings because it's just too hot. So my favorite alternative is the legging shorts and they have the biker short style, which I do wear those a lot. But when I'm at home, those are still too warm. So what I like to wear are these little ones. They're basically little shorts in legging material. It's so cute. So I have them in black and I have them in this dark gray. Forever 21, $3 stock up you'll thank me later all right guys so that wraps up my summer favorites let me know what you want to see on this channel what you're interested in watching if you have ideas of things i could film if you like this video found it interesting or learned anything give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching i hope you're doing well and stay safe and don't forget to wear a mask and wash, and your, wash hands. your hands see you guys next time bye